Okay, guys, uh, this is a pre-lab uh, number four, uh, part B tutorial, LT spy simulation. I will show you in a short video how to draw the circuit and how to determine VR1 and VR2. So as you see that VR1 usually is the voltage of this point here minus the voltage of that point. And I will show you how to do how to do find the VR1 using the um, this probe. So if I hit this probe and release it, I get 15. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to build a circuit and then how to simulate it. So let's me open a new schematic. And we have one, two, three, uh, we have three resistors here. I wanna just be sure that we have the enough. Okay, so I need one more resistor here. Fourth one, the fifth one, no need for that. And I'm going to move this up a little bit, bring R4 here. Okay, and I need the water source. And I need a ground. So again, the ground, I could put the ground here or anywhere. Uh, let me connect the wire. Okay. And a fin finishing wiring, I need to put the value for the resistor. So that will be 1K. 1K. Then right click on the R to put 1.5K. Okay, and then same thing here. Uh, so right click and 2.7 and 3.3. Okay, I'm done with this. So now I need to label the node voltages. These are called nodes here. So this is node number one. Yeah. Okay, so this will be V1. So let me finish this here. They need V2. And I need V3. Okay, so let's label those values. Yes, node voltages. We have V3. Okay, V3 will be here, placed here. And then V2. And then V1. And so again, V1, V2, and V3 are called node voltages or nodal voltages, which means the V1 is the voltage between this node and the ground. V2, the voltage of this node with respect to the ground. And V3, the voltage between this point and the ground 
which in this case the voltage across R4. Okay, so I need to also put the value of the voltage, 15 volt DC, and then I go and run it. No, for that I have to put operating point, place it anywhere you want, and then run. Okay, so we get these values here. We have V1, V2, V3, V4, V1, V2, V3, V4. Now, remember here, the symbol here, they are not matching what we had. So they start with VN001, it means this point. And V2, it means this point. So, so now if I need to mark the values of the voltage of V1, I just bring the cursor and left click so they give me the value of V1, which is the node value, which is one of the requirement we need to define. Down here, okay, put the cursor on the line, left click, you see the red pen, and this is would be V2, V3. Okay, so we're done with the node voltages for V1, V2. Now you could label if you want, say, uh, text and said V1 equal and then place it here then do the same thing for V2 V2 equals okay, and then uh, V3 so since this is a little bit close I'm going to move this now be careful if you take this square, see that square? If you take it out, you get question marks. So you have to bring it back. You have to put it on the line, otherwise you lose the number. Okay, and then we have V3 equals, and we put V3 here. Okay, and then we could, if you want, we could move the resistance value here. Just make a space. Okay. Now to determine the voltage drop across R1, which we call VR1, which is the voltage across this resistor, the voltage across this resistor, and across R3, R4. So basically the voltage VR1 is this voltage the 15 volt minus V1 which is 13.23529 so that is VR1 if you want to do it this way we can do that but there's an easy way to uh, use the, uh, the the red pen marker now VR2 will be V1 minus V2 and VR3 will be V2 minus V3 and VR4 will be V3 minus zero, because this voltage, this is a ground point, has a, a zero voltage. Now, show you a, a, a technique here to, uh, now let's, uh, I'm going to draw a line here, because I wanna show you why. Okay, so now I need to find the voltage VR1, so I, bring this cursor here, this plus, left click, hold mouse, hold the click, control, move the mouse down, click, release, control, click. This is the value of the voltage VR1. So I can move this down here, okay. So we can label the value, we said VR1 equals, and put it here. So we'll, oh, double, I think it's right click to fix this one. Okay, now to find the voltage VR2, so again, bring the cursor here on the line, Left click, 
Okay, and you see the pen, hold the click. Then hit control, hold the control, move the pen, release. Okay, you could release the mouse and release the control button. Okay, and then we move this maybe. Uh, now, since it's being marked here, I want it for the somewhere here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line. Oh, that's not the right one. So oh, let me move this down up here. So I just delete. Okay, so I wanna, so let's do it one more time. Click, hold, move and control, and then release. This is the value of the uh, voltage. So let me draw a line here. Okay, let me bring the number down here. Okay, so now, see, I, I use I use this shape here because I want the number to be here. Otherwise, if if there is no, if I delete this line here, so and then I move the the box over here. See, the number will be vertical. I don't like that. So let me cut this and then draw a line, horizontal line, even a short one, okay, it'll have to be a long one. And then you, then let's do the calculation one more time. Okay, the line, click, and click. Okay, by the way, you don't need to hold the control. I just figured out that there is no need to hold the control button at the same time as you click. The only thing you need to hold the click. Okay, and the mouse, hold the mouse. So let me move, move this. So again, you have to put the box here in order to see the number. Then we can add the value or symbol VR2 equals and place it here. Okay, and for VR3, we do the same thing. We we bring uh, bring the cursor, click and hold, hold, release. So we use the mouse. I'm going to do the same thing here. And we're going to draw a line. Hope this works here. You know what? I think I need to I need to move the resistance a little bit down. So let me all this here, move it down, okay, and then move this line up. And should do this at the beginning, and then fix this, and fix this. Okay. Okay, so now I have, oh, where's V2? Oh, V2, okay, V2, I need to just delete it and click it one more time to get V2. This is V2, if you click it one time, you get the voltage, the node voltage, which is the voltage uh, uh, at this point with respect to ground, which contains the voltage drop across R3 and R4.
can move the value here. Okay. Oops. I have to. And then I have to move this down. Okay, now, uh, so let me delete the, uh, this one here. Okay, now I need to find again VR3. So bring the cursor, hold the mouse, release, and move this number, draw a line. Okay, and then bring square and type VR2, VR3, VR3 equals, and put it here. Okay, I might move this a little bit. That's not right. I don't want this. No, I short white. Okay, let's cut this. Okay, and let's do it again. Click. Okay, left click. Hold, release. Move this down. And bring this in. Okay, now for VR3 is going to be the same as V3 because the voltage here is zero. So when we subtract the V3 minus zero, gives us V3. So VR4, you could say, or write down VR4 equals to V3. Can you put it somewhere? Okay, and you are done. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the class next week.